Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Child, if ever there was a time that Miss Chronicles was confused, the time is now. Jada Pinkett Smith did an impromptu video on the Red Table Talk, and it was 12 minutes of a bunch of nothing, child. But before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of this tea. Now let's get back into it. Now, as you recall, a little over a week ago, August Alsina broke the internet by admitting to having a relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith, who was currently married to the actor Will Smith, and he said that he got Will's blessing to do so. And it really wasn't a big surprise. We all kind of know how the Smiths give it up anyway, but we were all kind of looking at Jada like, how is it that you are in everybody else's business at the Red Table Talk, and you're hiding this big secret affair, honey, after bringing your ex fling to the red table child well will and jada had a sit down at the red table and this looked like one of the most uncomfortable conversations the two have ever had child now they talked about how they were separated during her entanglement with august alcina yes child she called it an entanglement she admitted to having a relationship with august alcina she denied having will's permission to do so saying that no one can give permission to her kitty cat honey but her then they both admitted to being at the point of no return in their relationship when all of this happened with August and Will wasn't even talking to her at the time. Now while I do believe that part, I really don't believe that they ever got back together. But I want you to see what I saw. Take a look at this. Absolutely. It's being transparent. And I'm, I'm here with you. Yeah, I thank you for that because you've been on a hell of a journey with me. So yeah. that's what we're going to start with. We're is that start this with... is a very personal journey yep. that became very public. Yes, absolutely for whatever reason. So what happened, Jada? Okay, so let's start with, I guess about four and a half years ago. Yeah, started a, there. I think it was about four and a half, four years ago, mm -hmm. um, started a friendship with August. Mm -hmm. And we actually became really, really good friends. Mm -hmm. And it all started with him just needing some help. Mm -hmm. You know, me wanting to help his health his mental state because for me that was the thing when i when um when aug first came around he was he was really, really sick. sick he was really you know? really sick yeah and the outpouring for him from our family was uh, initially about his health yeah and i mean we found all those different resources mm -hmm. you know to help pull him through mm -hmm. and from there, you know, you and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided- I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> we Marriages have that though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm -hmm. we broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. Well, at that particular point in time, it was indefinite. Yeah, I really felt like we could be over. You yeah, know? no, and, we were over. Uh, okay, so let me stop it right there. These two have continuously said that it will never be an over between the two of them. They don't care what happens, honey. He could be on one side of the house, she could be on the other side. So this is where I start to not believe the story. But let's continue. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement. Mm -hmm. with August. And one thing I want to get clear about and clean up, one of the things that was kind of swirling in the press about you giving permission. I actually sat down with Will and had a conversation due to the transformation from their marriage to life partnership that they've spoken on several times and it, you know, not involving romanticism. Mm -hmm. He gave me his blessing. Which is, uh, you know, the only person that could give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yes. circumstance is myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But what August was probably trying to communicate, mm -hmm. because I could actually see how he would perceive it as permission because we were 
separated mm -hmm. amicably. Yeah. And I think he also wanted to make it clear that he's not a homewrecker, mm -hmm. which he's not. Yep. Child, this home has been wrecked, burnt, bulldozed, and ran all through child. Now, I honestly have not seen these two in love in a long time. I think this whole life partnership thing that they have going on is a way of saying, hey, we aren't good, but we aren't divorcing. But I'm not letting you go either, period. Now, they both have been out there doing their own thing, and we'll get into that in a second. But this is something that we, the people, were not supposed to know for sure that that it was true. August Alcina blew the lid on that, and I'm telling you, the Smiths are pissed. Think so. I mean, because this is your red table, and you like brought yourself to the red table. I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space, and what happened? Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> Yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship, absolutely. I was in a lot of pain and I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say we did everything that we could to get away from each other, only mm -hmm. to realize that that yeah, wasn't yeah. possible. So we come to the red table. So I'm in, I'm in the Jada position right now. So, okay. you know, you, during that time, launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August. What do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm. since I felt good. Child, that right there said it all. Will ain't been cutting it for her the way she closed her eyes and said, It has been so long since I felt good. Mm. It had been so long mm. since I felt good. Good. I wish somebody would tell me something like that after we done took a break. But I'm going to tell you, it wasn't even that that got me. It was this part right here. Mm. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. That boy is far from healed. He's more messed up now than he was before. But Jada thinks that she can give him that sexual healing chat. She done messed that boy up. Mm. You know, and as I came through and started to realize certain things about you and I, he decided to break all communication with me, right. which was totally understandable. Right. Um, and I let that be and hadn't talked to him since. With that being said, if she has not spoken to August Alcina since, that means they were still messing around during July of 2018 when he appeared on the Red Table Talk, which she had Will Smith's younger sister, Ashley, at the table as well with her side dude. Like, in my opinion, the whole entire family knows about this situation and they're cool with it. Down to the kids, down to the dog, down to the goldfish. Everyone is cool with the situation. We just, as the people, were not supposed to know about it. Now, the part that really got me is the fact that they laughed about it. And I was always told, be careful what you speak over yourself. But they said, ride together, die together. Bad marriage for life. Um, mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, bad marriage, marriage for life. life. <laughs> 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 To each his own, I really can't judge this situation, although I can say I know I can't do it. But hey, more kudos and more power to them. All I know is I think they wanted to make sure that they did not really anger August Alcina. He seems like the type to pop out with some kind of pictures or video to prove his point. So Jada had to come out and be honest. I still do not feel like this couple is together. Will pretty much admitted that he has done some things as well. And that was at the end of the interview when he said he was going to get Jada back. And Jada was like, hey, you done already did that, buddy. I think we even. <laughs> well, anyway, what I need to do is hear from you. What do you think about Jada Pinkett finally admitting to this love affair, honey, with Mr. August Alcina? Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye.
As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.